This is the girliest girl math ever. Most of the stuff that happens at festivals, it's priceless. Like the connections you make. Oh, like my ticket's paid for, like it's practically free. No. This, out of all of my festivals, was the best deal that I got. All of my festivals were free because, so really, I earned money on this trip. <laughs> my brain goes, oh, I have a free place to stay at this festival. I still ended up spending. However, after calculating everything, I am pleasantly surprised. Hi, friends. Okay, so today... <laughs> I am outing myself. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to you about my 2023 music festivals and how much they cost. I went to eight festivals. I know. Insane. I did not plan that. It just kind of happened. <laughs> now it's February 2024 and I feel like I'm still recovering from these festivals. The past year I've done a lot better job with my finances in terms of just like keeping track of my expenses. So starting like like middle last year I used this YouTube video as like a template of how I track my spending and how I can just be more mindful with my spending the next month. Okay, so I have like all these logs from half of the year last year. I was super curious, like how much did I spend on festivals? I knew I spent a lot of money, but like, I just wanted to put a number to it. Right now I'm also really into watching this podcast slash YouTube channel. It's called The Financial Audit with Caleb Hammer. He pretty much sits down with people and goes over their expenses and then gives them advice on how to deal with their finances and budget and all that stuff. If you feel bad about your finances, go watch some of those episodes because some people do not have it together. I just want to be transparent in how much I spent on each of my festivals I went to. Honestly, mainly for educational purposes. So if you are planning a festival this year, you can use how much I spent on my festival to help budget for your festival. A few disclaimers, you guys. Before you judge me, I just wanna say that I follow a lot of like financial people. I believe in this philosophy by Ramit Sethi. He has a book called I Will Teach You To Be Rich. And his philosophy is everyone has a rich life. Everyone's rich life looks different. For some people, spending money on going shopping and buying material items like clothing or whatever, that might make you happy and you might just like live for that. Other people, you know, picking your kid up from school each day, you might want to prioritize that and like that fills your cup. For me, last year anyway, I traveled so much and that filled my cup up so much. Judge me if you want, but like, don't judge me, please. I mean, everyone spends their money in different ways. I'm not trying to brag. I just want to be open and transparent with festival spending so I can educate you. I, I don't want to sound like a broken, broken record. Okay, also another disclaimer. I do want to say like I am 29 years old. I'm literally about to be 30. Saying that I did not join the festival scene until I was 25 after college. And I know a lot of people in the festival scene are younger than me. If you're 19, 22, even 25, even my age, hell, even my age or older, and you're looking at my situation and you're like, why is she going to all these festivals? Like, and I can't afford it. It's because I didn't know the festival scene existed when I was in college. Trust me, like I was hella poor in college. I did not spend any money on anything. So like, even if I did find the festival scene in college, like I probably wouldn't have even been able to afford to go to anything. So just saying that like, I'm just older, I have a career. That's just a disclaimer. Like I have my shit together a little bit more than I did four years ago, five years ago when I first entered the scene. So if you're really young, it's okay. Don't go into debt for a festival, please. It's healthy for you to have all of your bases covered before you go spend money on a festival. And you know, I could say that for anything. Like I'm not a financial advisor. However, I do want everyone around me to be wealthy and happy with their money and be able to do things that makes them happy and festivals make me happy and like you just you got to plan for it okay you got to like get your life together and then you can spend all your money on festivals okay so that's kind of like what I did <laughs> okay so how I'm gonna do this is I pretty much categorize everything so I have a category I like just like 
put it up here. But pretty much I have my hotel or like where I'm staying. Of course, tickets to transport, which includes like gas or flights. I'm grouping food and alcohol together. Outfits. This is like the clothing I bought before the festival that I would wear at the festival. Merch and vendors. So this is like the merchandise I buy. And then, you know, like, yeah, the little cute little shops at the festival. I just want to say now I love supporting the small businesses and shopping at the festival. So you'll, you'll see how much I spent. Then I have a miscellaneous section. This is like things I bought for the festival and like Amazon purchases. For example, camping gear for my camping festivals or just like accessories I bought off Amazon or whatever. So all like the random little things I just put into this category. And then the last category is extracurricular activities. I wanted to include this just to be like, again, transparent and to help you plan like everything you may need for a festival. So I'm just gonna keep that as that. You guys get me. Oh, also, we're definitely gonna include some girl math here. So that just makes the video a little bit more fun. I'm gonna make this video a little bit more interesting. I will actually be right back, okay? Wait right here, okay? I decided I'm gonna wear an outfit that I wore at, at each festival to talk to you about the finances of each festival. So I wore this to Okeechobee, but I love this outfit. I kind of want to wear it again. Um, let's start off with Okeechobee. Okay, so Okeechobee Festival, it's a four day music festival in Okeechobee, Florida. And it is in March, um, or it was in March. Um, they're not doing it this year. Insomniac sold it to the original owners. So they're gonna have it in 2025 again. But yeah, um, I love Okeechobee, highly recommend. If you like Electric Forest, go to Okeechobee. Oh, I told you we're gonna do girl math, right? So, okay. <laughs> so my ticket was free. <laughs> A man bought it. I'm just gonna leave it at that. My stay, that was free. So it was a camping festival and camping is included. I think, actually, I think we had to pay for a car pass, but I didn't have that on here. I think my friend paid for the car pass. One of my best friends lives in Tampa. So I flew into Tampa, stayed with her and her husband the night before, and then we drove on the Thursday morning. And then we drove back to Tampa on Monday. I think Monday I flew out. Saying that, I didn't have to pay for hotels, okay? That's what I'm saying. So then my flight, I paid $305.96. I included the airport parking in here because like that's just another cost. So I parked my car at the airport. That was $32.46. So food and alcohol for this, we went grocery shopping the night before. So this includes like groceries to eat at camp and then also like the vendor food and then also like beatboxes and other alcohol. So I spent $413. I spent $120 on my extracurricular activities or like festival enhancers as you will. I spent $80 on this outfit. I bought it from a friend, so I bought it used. So I think like actually I saved some money on this. And then, okay, Oki merch. So I spent $149.80 on merchandise. I love merch. So I work in healthcare. I wear scrubs to work. So then when I'm home, I love just wearing my festival merch. Like that's the only two like types of clothes I own pretty much. <laughs> like I really honestly need to go shopping for like more, more like everyday people going out clothes, but we're working on, on that, okay? Vendor goods. So I spent $186 on the vendors and I bought a lot of art pieces. Like, look at this, you guys. I bought this flamingo from this artist. Oh, the, the glare is not very good. But this was like $40, I think. This is just a print, but I'm in love with it. So I bought stuff like this. But yeah, I, I know I got my sister some things and I bought my friends some things. I bought like other people things from this festival. Oh, and then for a miscellaneous for like Amazon purchases. Th so for this, I had to buy a tent. I had to buy like a tarp. I had to buy like a bunch of camping gear. I bought earplugs. I bought accessories. So I spent, spent $278 and 66 cents before I even went to Okeechobee. Ooh. Okay, in total, I spent $1,567 on Okeechobee, roughly. Like, obviously I could have missed some things here and there, but yeah, $1,500 on a four-day 
camping music festival. However, like I said before, I got my ticket for free and I did not have to pay for a hotel like the day before or the day after. So I actually added up like the guesstimated price of how much I would have spent if I bought those things. So the ticket was about $450. And then I just said like, oh, $100 for the hotel night before and $100 after. So $650. This is where the girl math comes in. And you can see how much of a discount I got because I got a free ticket. So really realistically, if I would have had to bought my ticket and like hotels, I would have spent $2,000. $217 roughly. So that's, I feel like that's a more realistic price. Obviously like with camping festivals, once you buy a tent and once you buy like all your camping gear, like you don't have to repurchase that for every single festival. So I had to buy a lot of my camping gear. Like I have this camping gear that I used for Electric Forest and Wakan later on. Okay, last thing with Okeechobee. Oh my God, this section's so long. Okay, girl math time. <laughs> So I took this number, the 2000 number, and I took the 650 and divided by the 2000 number, and that was 41%. So 650 is 41% of the 2000, of the $2,217. So I look at this that I got a 41% discount for Okeechobee, which honestly, like, that's a great deal. And as we talk more about all these festivals, most of the festivals I go to, there's one thing that I don't pay for. So my girl math brain is like, oh, like I got this for free. So like, it just helps me make me myself feel better about spending money on a festival. And also the more festivals you go to, most of the stuff that happens at festivals, it's priceless. Like the connections you make, the more festivals you go to, the more opportunity you have to make more friends that live all over the country. So then when you go to another festival, you could just stay with them. Like I love making connections. Like I have a whole Florida squad. I have a whole Midwest squad. I have a California squad. Like, oh shit, my camera's hot. This is important in life. Like connections are everything. It's not what you know, it's who you know. So my camera is gonna overheat. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'm having so much fun. Can you guys guess what festival I went to next? I'm gonna set you guys down by my cat while I go change, okay? <laughs> Okay, let's just sit right here. Okay, did you guys guess my next festival? Finn. I went to Forbidden Kingdom. Forbidden Kingdom is a festival in Florida. It's in Orlando. It is in June. Yes, so I went from March, didn't really do much, and then went to festival in June. And this is my outfit. I wore this to Forbidden Kingdom. I believe this is from I Heart Raves. I think I got it like during COVID times, but I love it. It's like reflective, little dragons. Okay, y'all, this is gonna be a fast one because honestly, this is not realistic for Forbidden Kingdom at all because I was not even planning on going to FK and a man invited me to go out and he paid for, okay, let's do this. He paid for my ticket, my stay, like hotel. He paid for my flights. And then he paid for some of my food. I bought both of our after party tickets, so that was $95. And then I paid for my airport parking, which was roughly about $34. And then food and alcohol was $95. And then extracurricular activities was uh, $215. And then the only thing I bought, I like already had this outfit and the other outfit I wore was my friends. I just borrowed. So the outfits, I, I just bought sunglasses. That was $10. When I was at the festival, I bought like a piece of jewelry and that was $20. So total, I spent myself 
was $469, but what someone else paid for me, I added the ticket, the flight, the hotel, meals. Someone else paid about $800 for me. So really, I earned money on this trip because <laughs> I spent like $470 and then he spent $800. So like, honestly, just like round down, like half of my trip, like... This trip was free for me, essentially, because he paid 800 roughly, for me. I paid, yeah, this is, this festival is free. <laughs> I made money on this festival. So yeah, like I said, this is not realistic. This is just me. I'm just in my single girl era, you guys, okay? Let me live my life. <laughs> if I were to have to pay for those things, what's 800 plus 469? Math. 1000 to like $1,200. So if you're going to Forbidden Kingdom and have to pay for your hotel and your flight and your ticket, roughly $1,200. If you live in Florida, obviously it's a lot cheaper. Also again, uh, this trip was fun because I went with this guy. Good, good vibes. But I also got to hang out with my Florida friend group. All of us kind of joined together. We were like a group. It was so much fun. Like honestly, Forbidden Kingdom was so much fun, I recommend. Okay, time to go change again, you guys. I'll be right back. Oh my God, I have not worn this outfit since like literally Electric Forest. But yeah, we are on Electric Forest now. So this outfit is from a Bad Inca slash Candy Cats with the K's. I wore this to my YouTube meetup. I absolutely love this outfit. Honestly, I feel like I need to wear this to like Ibiza, Spain, and like party. Let's talk about Electric Forest. Electric Forest, I literally like did not have any discount. I pretty much paid for everything. Okay, so the ticket I bought in 2019, the ticket itself, we all know Electric Forest is hella expensive for the ticket, but the ticket does include the camping already. The ticket, I looked back, I paid $567 and 90 cents. <laughs> Love that for me. For the stay, so luckily I have a friend, It was she was my sister's friend who, she lives in Chicago. So when we flew in, we stayed at her family's house the night before we left to Forest and then we got to stay there the night after Forest. So like we stayed there Wednesday night and then Monday night. No, we left Monday. I guess I did have a little discount. It ends up being like 7% because we did not have to pay for a hotel, but I did pay for some gas. That was $39.82. My flight from Houston was hella expensive. It was pretty much $400. The airport parking, I didn't pay for anything for that because I had a ride to the airport. So for food and alcohol, I spent money on groceries. And then this was again, food in the festival and then like beat boxes and stuff. This was about $238. And then for my extracurriculars, I spent $310 on that. So <laughs> outfits. So like this outfit was like, I think like $100. So I bought this outfit and then like two other outfits. I spent $225 on that. Before even going to Forest, I spent money. I spent $250 on random shit. Again, like camping stuff. I like looked back and like I bought something about like a camera bag for this guy that I'm filming on right now. I looked back on my Amazon and I bought a bunch of random shit that I didn't really need, but because I was going to Forest, I was like, oh, I should get this. But it's, it's fine, it's whatever. I spent money to have a professional photo shoot done in this outfit. I spent $155 on that. And honestly, I was not very happy with the results. <laughs> so I was kind of like bummed about that. I was just like, damn, I should have just had like my sister take better pictures in this outfit. Cause like, I literally, I was banking on this photographer to get some bomb ass photos. But then like, I only got 10 photos and I only liked like two of them. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll just leave that at that. Merch, I spent $140 on merch. And then 
I spent 30 bucks on showers. So the grand total, according to this, I spent, I spent $2,353 and four cents. <laughs> Obviously, again, like give or take, like some of that Amazon stuff, whatever, like forest could have been a lot cheaper if I would have bought my flight earlier. Like if I didn't do the photo shoot, if I didn't buy clothes, but it's like, y'all again, I, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know why I feel like I have to justify my spending to you because it's like my money. And anyway, I guess I'm just justifying for myself, but like when I go to a festival, I want to go all out for the festival. Like, I want to be able to be at the festival, and if I want something, I want to be able to get it. So, like, I want to be in that mindset at the festivals. In my everyday life, like, I'm definitely more conservative with my spending. Like, I don't really go out to eat as much. I cook at home a lot. I don't go shopping for, like, normal clothes. As you see this, like, pretty much all the all the clothes I spend on like the merch and the vendors, like those are the clothes I wear every day. <laughs> I don't go shopping. So yeah, forest is expensive, but honestly, it's so worth it. I'm going to talk about all the freaking artists I've seen later. Like this is going to be its own little section at the very end. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to divide my total amount that I spent on festivals divided by how many artists I've seen. So we'll see how much per artist I paid for in the whole year of 2023 at my festivals. But, okay, my camera, oh, my camera is overheating. We need a break. We are done with forest. We are halfway through, you guys. Stick with me here, stick with me here. But I will be right back, okay? I literally love this so much. Ah, okay. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's go to the bedroom. bedroom's kind of messy because my clothes are all over the place but it's fine <laughs> okay so here's the fits i wore this to nocturnal wonderland so that is our next festival nocturnal wonderland was like the last weekend of september also this was not planned until like three weeks before a month before i was not planning nocturnal but my, i have two siblings a brother and a sister they both rave they live in Arizona. I have a cousin, her and her husband, her family, they live in California. My brother and sister had bought Nocturnal Wonderland tickets to go with my cousin. Nocturnal was like a last minute full send, okay? So this outfit is from I Heart Raves. So the ticket itself was $196. So I did not have to pay for a hotel. That's where like my little discount comes in. It's like, oh, like I have a I have a free place to stay. So like that made me okay with going because we stayed at my cousin's like two of the nights. And then we stayed with my sister's friend the last night. So that was free. My flight plus my airport parking, that was $320. Food and alcohol, I spent about $130. I think this was like just at the festival. Previously, like I would count like airport food, but I don't know because I feel like this number should be higher because I definitely like bought food at the airport or like the night before at my cousin's, but that might not be all the way right. We'll just keep it at that. Extracurriculars were 100. I bought this outfit and then another outfit that was from I Heart Raves. That was $95. And then merch. So I bought two shirts and then a reflective bag at the festival. And that total cost was about $138. Miscellaneous like Amazon purchases before the festival. I spent roughly like $58, $60 on that. My brain goes, oh, I have a free place to stay at this festival. I still ended up spending $1,041 on Nocturnal Wonderland. But because doing girl math here, I didn't have to pay for a hotel. I roughly estimate a hotel to be like $100 per night. Like if I had to pay it by myself, like obviously it would be cheaper if I paid with someone else. But I just said like $300 for the whole weekend. So I did the math. That was essentially like a 21% discount. So 20% is, hey, that 20% is 20%. Like, hey, if you could get a free ticket or a free place to stay, that's still something, okay? Honestly, it's these flights though. Like, you remember during COVID when flights were like, $30. Honestly, the flights are what makes everything freaking expensive. Okay, on to Wakan. Ooh, I know what outfit I'm gonna wear. Okay, I'm gonna change my closet so you guys can't see. Okay, you guys, Um, let's go over here. So this outfit, 
is from Nora Lena Freedom Designs. I absolutely love this. It's like um, gold on the side and it has like a little hood. Oh. Look how cute it is. It's honestly so comfortable too. This type of outfit is like my go-to camping festival outfit just cause it's like one piece, it's easy, it's like breathable. But okay, I wanna sit down. Wakan, I did not really get any discounts. I paid for everything, which is fine. Wakan, the ticket I paid $368.95. I split a hotel with friends the night before, and so my portion, I think, was about $30. I paid $93.50 for my portion of gas. That honestly might have been the hotel included as well, but whatever. We went grocery shopping before, had food for camp, and uh, like I also bought some meals in the festival as well. So uh, food and alcohol, that e equates to about $198.52. Extracurriculars, I paid $225. Outfits, I bought one outfit before and then I didn't even wear it, but I'm still gonna include it because I still bought it. I paid $84.44. Merch, I spent $138. I actually bought this outfit at Wakan and then I bought, um, I should have been showing you guys like all the things I bought. Maybe I'll do that in like a different video. Comment if you want to see everything I bought last year. But this was the other thing I bought, Liquid Stranger jersey. I fucking love it. Isn't it beautiful? I also just saw Liquid Stranger he went here in Houston like two days ago and it, that set brought me back to Wakan. So beautiful. I love liquid. Um, also, I'm seeing excision tonight. Um, yeah, so this is like, I'm making this video and it's like, okay, Heather, get this work done and then you can enjoy excision. So yeah, I've been procrastinating this video a little bit. So, but yeah, okay. So, and then, okay, I spent $142 on miscellaneous items before the festival. This is like Amazon purchases. And then I know about, I bought a lot of things for like to hand out to people and stuff. Vendors. I spent $205 at the vendors. Wait, really? Oh, actually, yeah. I think that that jersey, I think like Arkansas had like a weird tax. So this was like listed as like 110, but then Arkansas had, had this like stupid weird tax that made it $138. I remember like asking the people about that. Yeah. But then yeah, I bought this and then I bought a bunch of other shit from the vendors. So that was like $205. Um, so total at Wakan, I spent $1,486.02. So again, these festivals, they can be done a lot cheaper if you like don't buy outfits or like don't buy any merch or just like don't eat just kidding definitely eat <laughs> or like i don't know i just feel like like i said about the forest when i know i'm going to a festival i end up spending a little bit before just like like i said things to give out to people or tapestries to decorate camp or you know you just you want to like make your experience as pleasant as possible but yeah, and like I said before, I didn't really have a discount on this because I paid for everything myself. Wakan, $1,400 for me. Okay, next is Freaky Deaky, let's go. my next outfit. I got it from Bad Inca a couple years ago. I've worn it actually like multiple times to festivals. It's one of my favorites to wear, but I know it's like kind of popular now and people have seen it. So like I don't get as many compliments on it as much, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, I wore this to Freaky Deaky Festival in Austin, Texas. Oh yeah, 
yeah, I, I feel like I haven't been saying like where the festivals are. Yeah, well, Con, that's in Arkansas. Nocturnal Wonderland is in San Bernardino in California. And then Electric Forest is in like Rothbury, Michigan. Forbidden Kingdom and Okeechobee were in Florida. So this was a pretty cheap festival for me. My ticket was $182 and I, I did not have to pay for the after party ticket. My friend got me in, so $0 for that. I stayed at a friend's house, so didn't have to pay for a stay. Austin is only like two and a half, I think two and a half hours from me. It's not bad at all. Gas, I paid about $30 for gas. Food, alcohol, I paid about $54. I feel like this number should be higher though. I, I feel like I definitely got more. And then I spent $100 on ec extracurriculars. And so my total for this was $367.21. So yeah, this one might not be as accurate, but I don't feel like going back and figuring it out. But yeah, girl math part, if I had to pay for a place to stay, oh, and my after party ticket, that roughly would have been $230. Doing the math with that, I got a 38% discount. So Freaky Deaky was a pretty cheap festival for me. So, I mean, like I said, like if you go to festivals where you can just drive to them and stay at friend's house, like even just that in itself is that's so much cheaper. Like when you have to add up a, a plane ticket to it, like flights just make everything more expensive. It's so annoying. That's quick and easy, right? <laughs> $367 for Freaky Deaky? That's not bad at all. We got two more, you guys. Thanks for hanging in with me, okay? <laughs> I have to figure out what I wanna wear for EDC Orlando. Okay, I'll be right back. Let's go over here. Okay, so this outfit is from I Heart Raves. I love like re-wearing my outfits. Like I should honestly just like wear this around my house. Like what a vibe. <laughs> so EDC Orlando was another spontaneous trip that I literally planned like two to three weeks before. I was not planning it, but I had actually like made a friend on the internet. She's a festival influencer. She like does more like Instagram. Just got talking a lot and we ended up like calling each other on the phone and had just like really deep conversations and she actually ended up inviting me to EDC. She invited me to go with her and to work with her and this company they were happy to have me on so we were just gonna like tag team content creation with my youtube channel i like vlog what i want to vlog when i want to vlog it so like this was the very first time i was actually working with a company making content for someone else it was fun it was a great experience so yeah they paid for my ticket in my brain again i was like oh like my ticket's paid for like it's practically free no I was, yeah, this was, I, I'm very emotional about this festival. It was, it was a lot of fun, but it was like low key kind of stressful just because I was not used to making that much content that it kind of like low key brought me out of the moment. But I'm like still super happy I went because I met this friend in person. And I met some other people and I actually like reconnected with my Florida squad and it was fun. It was a great festival. However, it was expensive. It was way more expensive than I thought. My ticket was free, like I said. I paid $52 for my home base after party ticket. I paid $65 for the Airbnb. That was like my portion, which was like obviously super cheap. I paid $144 for my flight. That was round trip. That's actually a really good price for a flight. And then Ubers, we ended up spending so much money on Ubers, but I split it with my friend, so it was fine. But my portion of that was $108. The Uber situation was just really frustrating. This is why I like camping festivals. Like I hate having to deal with getting home. Like if I could have done like the shuttle pass or something, like looking back, I wish we would have done that. Food, so this is like, yeah, food, Target, gas station, food, whatever. I spent $195 on that. Uh, extracurricular activities, $100. And then I ended up buying this outfit. I bought another outfit. I spent a bunch of money at I Heart Raves before. I spent $119.38 on that. And then hair, I got my hair done and I, I got a discount with that. My hair was still $122.50, which 
Honestly, I loved my hair. It was my favorite hair I've ever had, so that was 100% worth it. Like, I love some good, like, sexy-ass festival hair, so yeah. I spent $47.18 on Amazon purchases before, so total, I spent $954.99 on EDC Orlando. That was with, you know, the, my discount. The ticket would have been $272, but I got that for free, so doing the math, I got like a 28% discount, which honestly like still isn't bad, like 28, 30%, that's still pretty good. However, like I said, this was like a last minute send and no regrets, but toward the end of the year, like after Wakan, I was super tired. Oh, and freaky. Like I literally did freaky deaky, had a weekend break and then did EDC Orlando. If you're still here, thanks for being here. I feel like we're just hanging out, right? I have one more festival for you. So let me go change into my Decadence Arizona outfit. I don't even remember what I wore. Oh yeah, no, I do, kind of. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it this way as I walk away. <laughs> hi okay let's go over here i'm so thirsty let's go to my kitchen my kitchen i wore this to decadence arizona are my pasties uneven awkward mm. water is life you guys Okay, you guys, the last festival. I, again, was not planning on going to this festival. It was spontaneous. I guess like within a month planning. This was Decadence, Arizona. My brother and sister live in Arizona, so they were going, they invited me. My brother helped me get a media pass, so my ticket was free, which was super lovely. So they live in Tucson and the festival's in Phoenix, so we had to get a hotel. My portion of the hotel was $211. My flight was $209. I had to check my bag both ways, so that was $70. And then airport parking was about $30. We paid $31 for an Uber. At the festival, I spent about $86 on food and alcohol. On extracurricular activities, I spent $100. So overall, I spent $741.35 on Decadence Arizona. So discount my ticket that i got my media pass it was essentially a vip ticket so that was on the website i looked it was 4.99 versus just a ga so that was that's 500 bucks right there that i got for free and then also flights were hella expensive but i paid only for one flight my dad actually gifted me the my other flight, that was like my Christmas present. My other flight was $215. So really flights round trip were, were like $400, which is insane. But that's like, it's the holidays. So what do you expect? I did not have to pay for my media pass, like VIP ticket. And then I also didn't have to pay for half of my flight. So total with that, I saved, uh, like I saved $715 with that. So, and what did I say? The, the total cost that I spent, was $741 so really so this out of all of my festivals was the best deal that I got I got 49% discount on this festival just because of the yeah ticket and flight like with decadence and nocturnal like I was able to spend these festivals with my family so they were both last minute spontaneous but just honestly like raving with your family like if y'all can rave with your siblings that's awesome. So family time is priceless. Every festival I went to, like I gained new friends. I had amazing experiences. Like all this shit is so priceless. Let's do the outro now. Thanks for sticking around, but I want to talk about one more thing. And that is how much per artist I spent. Oh, and I have to give you the total, but I'm going to go change into something a little bit more comfortable. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> back on my couch so total I'm gonna just put this little graph up here so I made like another expel excel spreadsheet that just has the totals of all the festivals like look look at this I have like all the festivals on the top editing Heather here so I actually did not give the breakdowns of like all the different categories so I'm gonna do that right now so the total 
amount I spent on tickets was $1,463.53. <laughs> um, I paid $346.41 for my stays for transport, which includes gas flights and like the airport parking and checked bags and all of that. I spent $1,811.62. Food and alcohol, I spent $1,413.92. <laughs> Outfits, like outfits I bought for the festivals to wear at the festivals, I spent $736.42. Merch and things I bought at the vendors, I spent $978.48. And to be clear, like I said before, I wear a lot of this stuff in my everyday life and I honestly don't really go shopping that much. Maybe I'll go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx like once every three months. Honestly, like your girl needs a new wardrobe. But I spent it on festivals instead, but whatever. That makes me more happy, so whatever. Um, okay, miscellaneous stuff, which includes like Amazon. This is surprising to me. I spent $960 on that. But then again, it's like, that was like camping gear. And like, I like to give the little like fluff balls out to people. And I let, like at EDC Orlando and, and Decadence, I was handing these stickers out. But yeah, extracurricular activities. Um, yeah, do you guys like these horse stickers I found? Look at how cute they are. It's like, so cute. And also I found this little cat with a rainbow, a little rainbow sticker, and this little snail with the mushroom. Look at this, a hater's gonna hate. Put my shades on. Do I have my sunglasses here? No. Um, also, I found this, this is like off topic, but I found this sticker that it's a bird and it says bread. <laughs> I really want to give it to someone when I see daily bread <laughs> next time. If you don't know who that is, that's a DJ, an artist. But yeah, anyway, extracurricular activities. I spent $1,270 on that. Yep. Okay, let me just tell you this first. I thought I spent $10,000 on festivals in 2023. However, after calculating everything, I am pleasantly surprised to say I on only, I, I only spent this much, you guys. No, I spent $8,980.39 on music festivals in 2023. Round that up, that's $9,000. I spent $9,000 on festivals in 2023. Divided that by 12 months, that's $750 per month that went toward festival things. Okay, so you know how I've been talking about all the like discounts I've gotten, like all the things that I did not have to pay for? So I added all of those up from each of the festivals. That total was $3,066.54. That's three grand that I saved from getting free tickets, like having a place to stay. I had two flights paid for. Just saying that, my total could have been $12,046.93. So doing the math there, dividing the 3,000 number by the 12,000, that's 0.25. That's 25%, like y'all. Of all my festivals last year, I got a 25% discount. <laughs> Isn't that insane? That like makes me feel so much better of going to all of these festivals. Also, I did the math. I went down like the rabbit hole with this. I took a lot of time to do this, you guys. So I hope you like appreciate this. Um, if not, whatever. Okay, so I went through all of my music festival vlogs and I counted the number of artists that were featured in each vlog. And I counted that all up. I'll put the little like screenshot here. On the side I have like which festival and like the number next to it represents how many days it was. Okeechobee I saw around 40 artists. Um, forest I thought I saw like 30. Forest was definitely less because I was exploring the forest a lot more of the time versus just watching artists. But yeah you can you can see it up here. According to like all the videos I saw in my vlogs I watched 
177 artists in 2023 just at music festivals. I went to other shows too, you guys, like not at festivals. That's insane. That's just the artists that were in my vlogs. So there's a lot of artists that I don't even film. I'm just like there and enjoy it. But I did the math. So $8,980 divided by 177 is roughly $50 per artist. Which I thought the number was going to be like $30 an artist because yeah, that was a lot more expens expensive than I realized. But yeah, $50 per artist roughly. Considering like I usually spend like $20 to $30 to see an artist at a show, that definitely is a little bit more expensive. However, it just like depends on the artist too. Like I saw Grizz twice, like that's fucking priceless. I like I'm going to Excision tonight and my procrastinating ass waited till like yesterday to buy my ticket and I paid a lot more money. I paid like double the price what I should have paid. So it's just like, you know, things everything balances out. Plus like all like I said like all the memories I made priceless. Like it's just it I love festivals so much and festivals are just so worth the money. It's sometimes a pain in the butt to plan and budget for, but you guys, like, if you can go to a festival, especially a camping festival, do it. So, yeah. Um, saying that, that's how much money I spent. My battery's about to die. There's one more thing I wanted to say, and this is the girliest girl math ever. <laughs> okay, so pretty much I got into an accident after EDC Orlando. As I was driving home from the airport, it was raining, someone spun out, and hit me and totaled my car. It was very traumatic and it sucked because I was literally like 10 minutes away from home and all I wanted to do was just go home and go to sleep. My air, this came out. I can't open my door. And my shoulder fucking hurts. <laughs> I, like ended up suing the insurance of the person who hit me. This might be like TMI, but I just got my settlement and the amount of money that I got. I'm not gonna say the exact amount, but pretty much it covered all of my expenses for my festival season last year. So girl math, because I got in that accident, I got all my festivals for free last year. <laughs> and you know, a little bit of trauma I also had to buy another car, so that was like not planned, but <laughs> all of my festivals were free because of that accident. So that's how I look at things, you guys. Okay, that's the silver lining of my car accident. All my festivals are paid for. <laughs> However, saying that, I'm definitely taking a break from festivals. I'm not going to eight this year, okay, you guys? I am taking a step, a step back. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say that. But no, truly, I, again, I just want to thank you guys for being here. I hope this video helps you budget for your upcoming festival. Comment below, what festivals are we going to this year? Are you going to try, are y'all going to Electric Forest? But yeah, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!